what what would you say podcasting has taught you? Like, because you're what you're a ju- junior. Yes, I'm a junior. Yeah, talk talk to me. What what ha- what has podcasting mm, taught you? That's it's taught me so much. Um, I would say the first thing it's taught me is to be authentic and um, really, most importantly, be okay that what you have to say will not make everybody happy. Um, That was a big thing for me. Like growing up, I had a thing of like wanting to make everybody happy. And so I think that this, me saying like, hey, I'm going to talk about things that are controversial within sports, not stats, but I want to have real conversations. I had to accept that everybody is not going to be happy or agree. And I think it has allowed me to be more confident in my voice. Um, It's also taught me that the people who you think are the most far away are closer than you think. Um, And I mean that by like, I would make a list of people that I want on my podcast. It'd be like Taylor Rooks, Shaq, Deion Sanders, so many big people, NBA players, and still some people I have not checked off. But as I continue to progress, like Taylor off the list. And it's just like, that's a dream for me. Like when I started it, I was watching her podcast to figure out how do I interview people well. And then I get the chance to interview you. And so a lot of people ask me, like, how did you get so-and-so? How did you get so-and-so? And I always tell people the worst you can get is a no, but you never know when you would get a yes. Like a lot of the times when I reach out to people and I send an email or I DM them, and I'm like, I don't know. Like one time I reached out to Phil Handy. He's a coach for the Lakers. Immediately replied. And I was like, like what? Like I'm hyped because I'm like feel why? Like I don't know how many people are reaching out to this man, but if I would have psyched myself out, like he too busy, he ain't gonna see it. He would have never known who I was. And so those those I would say are definitely the biggest things. And three lastly for me is you do not have to be a part of a big network to build a platform. 